Good morning and welcome to the GHS Reporter. Today is Wednesday, December 18th, and I'm Sean Cunningham. The United States House of Representatives is scheduled to vote on the impeachment of President Trump this morning. According to CNN, Democrats have brought up two articles of impeachment against the president, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. A simple majority is required for impeachment, and if Trump is impeached, he will become only the third president to be impeached, following Andrew Johnson in 1868 and Bill Clinton in 1998. If the articles pass in the House as expected, a trial will be held in the Senate to decide whether or not Trump should be removed from office. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has indicated that the trial will take place after the new year. A two-thirds majority is required to remove the president from office, but given the fact that the Republicans hold a majority in the Senate, this is unlikely. There has been an agreement for a settlement for $1.7 billion over the California wildfires in 2017 and 2018. According to the New York Times, the agreement is from the fire started by Pacific Gas and Electric's equipment. There will be a different deal with the victims. Harvey Weinstein, the 67-year-old producer, has been accused by 87 women of sexual assault, harassment, and abuse since 2017, sparking the hashtag MeToo movement. According to the BBC, 23 of his accusers have joined together in a statement of their own saying that he will be remembered by the collective will of countless women who stood up and said enough is enough. Next month marks the beginning of his criminal trial for sexual assault, rape, and criminal harassment. He denies all charges. Hi, I'm Rachel and I'm the president of Med Cross Club. My name is Arelda and I'm the secretary of Med Cross Club. My name is Athena and I'm the treasurer for Med Cross Club. Our club will be sponsoring a Make-A-Wish fundraiser. Make-A-Wish is a nonprofit organization that uses donations to grant sick kids their wishes. Our goal is to raise $1,000 and all profit will be going to the kids behind the scenes. These kids are the ones that cannot be shown to their condition or their family situation. Currently, we're selling three different types of stars. There are six different stars in total. On each star is a different kid, but each and every one of them has already gotten their wish because of this program. If you help donate, it will help the kids in the future who need your help. One of the kids that already got their wish is Logan, who was able to go to Hawaii. The fundraiser is taking place in the quad during all lunch mods on the 16th through the 19th this month and the 7th through the 10th in January. These stars will be going for different prices, $1, $3, and $5. If you donate, you can write your name on the star and it will be hung up on one of our boards. Visit us and donate to help these kids get their wishes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Arizona Diamondbacks made a big splash in free agency yesterday, signing starting pitcher Madison Bumgarner to a five-year contract worth $85 million. According to the San Francisco Chronicle, Baumgartner has spent the past 11 seasons with the San Francisco Giants, winning three World Series titles as well as the 2014 World Series MVP. Baumgartner had received bigger offers from other teams, but he said that he wanted to play in Arizona, saying he believes he can continue to win with the Diamondbacks. The boys' basketball team hosts Niskayuna tonight at 7 o'clock. After a tough 54-48 loss to Saratoga on Friday, the boys are hoping to have a bounce-back game tonight. This will be the team's second matchup against Niskun after the Dutch defeated them 40-37 to on the road two weeks ago. Fights are breaking out over chicken sandwiches. And according to CNN, a grand jury in Maryland has indicted a man for killing a fellow customer outside a Popeye's restaurant. The altercation started after the man cut in front of several customers in the restaurant in an effort to order the chicken sandwich that was recently introduced to the menu. Popeye's has said they will not discontinue the sandwich and their best wishes are with the family of the victim. Seriously. You cannot make this stuff up. That's all for the GHS Reporter today. Remember to find today's announcements online and on Twitter at GHS Announcement. I'm Sean Cunningham. Today is an A-Day. Have a great day.